Hello friends, if you like my videos, subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you. So in this video, we are going to discuss about amino acids and the classification of the amino acids. So what are amino acids? Amino acids are the organic compounds that contain amine and carboxyl functional groups. So it contains amino group as well as a carboxyl group what in the structure of the amino acids right so actually 500 natural amino acids are known and among them 20 amino acids can be seen in the genetic code right and in the human genome product the total uh, amino acids has been known in the sequence of the in, in the sequence of a dna right and among them 20 amino acids are currently visible with their project but remaining all are unknown right so but they came to know that only 500 natural amino acids are known and among them 20 amino acids are perfectly known and they named those 20 amino acids so what are those 20 amino acids let us see enough so this is a, this is a list of 20 amino acids alanine arginine asparagine aspartic acid cysteine glutamine glutamic acid glycine histidine isoleucine leucine lysine tyrosine methionine phenylalanine proline serine threonine tryptophan and valine so these are the 20 list of amino acids which has been discovered right so now let us see the classification of the amino acids right so these amino acids can be classified based on the two ways based on their nature and based on their function right so amino acids are classified based on their function as well as their nature so firstly let us see how the amino acids can be classified based on their nature so based on their nature the amino acids are classified into three types so they are neutral amino acids acidic amino acids and basic amino acids so let us learn all of these three amino acids so firstly neutral amino acids neutral amino acids it contains one amino group and one carboxyl group so in the definition of the amino acids i have said you right the structure of the amino acid contains amino group as well as a carboxyl group and this together forms a structure of the amino acid so this is what i have explained you in the definition of the amino acid at beginning right so here in this neutral amino acids it contains one amino acid and one carboxyl group so the best examples which you can take in this neutral amino acids are glycine and alanine so this will be the structure of the glycine and this will be the structure of alanine alanine okay so what i have said it contains only one amino group right so it contains only one amino group and it only contains one carboxyl group in its structure and here also here also the same it contains only one amino group and it also contains only one carboxyl group and these amino acids are classified as neutral amino acids so what are acidic amino acids acidic amino acids in its structure they contain one amino acid and two carboxyl groups right so if you see the examples aspartic acid and glutamic acid are the best examples and this will be the structure of the aspartic acid and this will be the structure of the glutamic acid so what i have said you one amino group and two carboxyl group right so if you see the structure of the aspartic acid only one amino group is present amino group is nothing but the nh2 group carboxyl group is nothing but the cooh group right so only one amino group is present but carboxyl groups two are present this is one of the carboxyl group and this is another carboxyl group cooh cooh and the same here also here it contains only one amino group and it contains two carboxyl groups right so these are this is these are the best examples of the acidic amino acids and coming to the basic amino acids it contains two or more amino groups but it contain only one carboxyl group so the best examples for the basic amino acids are lysine as well as the arginine right so if you see the structure of the lysine and arginine it contains only two it contains only one carboxyl group so it contains only one carboxyl group right cooh is nothing but the carboxyl group which i have said you and it contains two or more amino group right here this this is one of the amino group and this is another amino group so totally two amino groups are present here nh2 group and here nh group so these are the amino groups which are present in the structure of this lysine and arginine and these are the best examples of this basic amino acids so till now we have learned about the amino acids which has been classified based on their nature right so now let us see the amino acids which has been classified based on their functions right so based on their functions amino acids are classified into two types they are essential amino acids and non-essential amino acids so coming to the first one essential amino acids 
The amino acids that cannot be synthesized in the body at a rate necessary for normal growth and supplied in the form of a diet are called as essential amino acids. So here, normally what is the main function of the amino acids? It mainly helps for the development of the growth in humans, right? In the body, not only in the humans, it can, it can be in the case of animals also, right? It mainly helps in the development of the body, right? So these essential amino acids are nothing but these amino acids cannot be synthesized in the body. Our body itself cannot synthesize these amino acids. So as our body cannot develop amino acids, it cannot synthesize the amino acids. So we are going to supply that amino acids externally through diet. Diet is nothing but through our food, nutritious food. So if you consume that nutritious food, appropriate amino acids will be obtained to your body, which is necessary for growth, right? And these are called as essential amino acids. And the best examples of this essential amino acids are valin, leucine right and coming to the these are the structures of the valine and leucine and next coming to the non-essential amino acids the amino acids that can be synthesized in the body at the rate necessary for normal growth are called as non-essential amino acids which is quite opposite to the essential amino acids so this can be synthesized in the body right there is no need of external supply to your body right so but essential amino acids we are going to supply it externally because our body cannot synthesize those amino acids but here in the case of non-essential amino acids there is no need of supply through diet where our body itself can synthesize these amino acids and those amino acids are called as non-essential amino acids and the examples you can take glycine and alanine so these are the structures of glycine and alanine so this is a classification of the amino acids based on their nature as well as based on their function so if you like this video, subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.